Look at this, look at this. It's our ninth trip to Calverton. And uh, it's a beautiful day today. <laughs> oh my goodness. 30 online. We're early at 9.43. And we're like, yeah. holy cow, like, I don't know, 25, 30 cars in line. That's bad. But uh, it's gonna be 73 degrees today. It's right now a little overcast, but I'm with my friend, Nameless. And uh, I've got my son with me today. He's, 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 right back, he's back from uh, college. So uh, once they open up, we'll see you there. So it never occurred to me, but uh, the property here has these like mining machines. Any of you guys know, um, I mean, I know these are like, filter out sediment to find gold or minerals or ore but what would you say that this business is this this industry is if you guys could tell leave it in the comments morning three uh rifle please yep Thanks. Rifle, pistol, <laughs> it's the same shit. Absolutely. Um, today, we're going to be shooting some 308. So we're going to go to the 200 yard range. There you go. 200 and some 100. Edge, edge and some fitty. It'll be all right. So, uh, Nameless is going to put a target up at 200 over there. It'll be the first time he's shooting 200. Um, I guess I'm going to try to shoot 22 long rifle and nine millimeter at a hundred yards, which would be a, a feat all on its own. And then later on, we'll go to the pistol range and shoot later too. It'll be an all day affair. Just FYI, I didn't know this, but they actually have an ATM and soda machines here. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> your guess is good as mine. <laughs> <laughs> yards <laughs> like a nut
very bottom of the sheet is too low. I don't know if that's from before or not. I don't see nothing. So you go for the left one, right? Yeah. a small target, man. Be able to hit shit. Look, when you put it in, right? Mm -hmm. You don't. Yeah, I do that. Can I make a loader? I'm gonna cheat a little. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> There's no way. Crazy. You you tried. I really haven't had a problem. Yeah. Come on, I don't have no gas. As I say that. All right. Center. Nope. Try that trigger thing. You know where you hold it after you shoot? And then let go to release. And then you, you can see where it resets. Yeah, I can see that. You feel it? You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. Now you can anticipate how when it's gonna fire. God! Yeah. 
can't aim. <laughs> I'm there. I'm good, man. It didn't. So, you guys have the stick? Huh? You guys have the stick? I do. Inside the car. That's tough. <laughs> it's, it's tough to stand. Yeah. Take your time. Get comfortable. Get a good shot. I just aimed like two inches above yeah, the target. Yeah. And this oh, far, yeah. I can yeah. see. My, my, uh, my neighbors. Do you feel like the lens is clear? Uh, I can see like the crosshairs. So then he goes like this, he goes like, look! <laughs> so him and I hit it off really, really well. I have a sweet one. Yeah, 
life, man. Nah. Dude, I grew up in the city, man. Every fucking my whole life, I felt like I was in the city. I started saving enough yeah. money. God damn. That's the difference in Brookhaven and Cleo. They call it Brookhaven. It's Cleo. There's no ambiguity here. You know, yeah, I left. Now it started uh, with uh, the the gender pronouns, you know, the gender pronouns, you know, Where'd you go? I went for the center body. I'll go to the top left. The sticker, top left, okay. Right, Push God. it in and it goes there. You're a horrible representation. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But my gun's not jamming. No, ah. <laughs> Damn. Brian, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. Ow. Yeah. Nice. Look at this. Ryan, this is how brass works on this. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> With brass, it's the same thing for me, but. Right on, it never jumps too much. Yeah.
That was a quick one, huh? Mm -hmm. This is my son Scott right there. Boom. And uh, I missed everything. Let's go see the let's go see the 308 on the guy at the 200 yards. So, after four hours of being over there, the three GoPro batteries that I brought with me ran out of juice, so I couldn't record anymore. I didn't know we were going to spend four hours there. Went through hundreds and hundreds of rounds, but that's okay, because, uh, you know, my son was in town, so we took him shooting, had a great time, four hours worth, put a lot of rounds through here. I probably put about 300 rounds in my 22 and about 150 through the nine, so I definitely have to clean it. I hate cleaning my guns. It's such a chore, you know what I mean? But uh, we'll see how dirty it is. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed our day at the, our ninth trip to Calverton. It was a beautiful day. Lots of people, as you saw, and I expect that it's going to continue throughout the spring, you know. But uh, thanks a lot for joining me, fellas. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well as we did. And uh, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers, Blowers, and Guns. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.